Hello and welcome to Clash of the Dice. I am James and in this video I'm going to be looking at the Warhammer Age of Sigmar 3rd Edition Extremis Starter Set in the context of Warcry and whether or not I think it's good value for you to actually get it if you're only playing Warcry. Now if you haven't seen the Harbinger set that I did a review of in the context of Warcry you are going to have to check that out because basically the contents of this box are the same as the Harbinger set in terms of what figures you get. So you get the same Stormcast Eternals and the same Cruel Boys models and therefore you need the same books and I talk about all of that in the video that I did for the Harbinger set. So what's the difference between the Harbinger set and the Extremis set? Well basically it's just the scenery. You get the same mats in terms of what is printed on the mats as you do in the Harbinger set but in the Extremis set they are made out of that nice thick card instead of the glossy paper so much more rigid and better to play on than the horrible glossy paper. You also get some scenery sprues to make some buildings and from what I can see some of them like that globe type structure you can only get in this set now that's basically the only difference better quality mats and a bit of scenery that's all that this set is bringing to the party over and above what you get in the harbinger set now bearing that in mind and also the fact that this set is a lot more expensive than the harbinger set it's almost twice as expensive is this better value for money than the harbinger set and i think i'm gonna have to go with no I think I'm going to say the Harbinger set is the better set because you can buy the mats separately which are £35 I believe and personally I'm not a fan of the scenery you get in this set I don't think it goes with the mats um, yeah you've got buildings that are being built and you're either building them in the middle of a wasteland or you're building them in the middle of a swamp and to me they don't quite go correctly but that that's just, that might just be me but i think i would rather have the models than the scenery and if you want the mats to give a different flavor a different background a bit different backdrop to your games just get the separate mats and save yourself some money you can quite easily make some nice rugged wilderness terrain which i've done i've made some sort of rocky outcrops and things like that to go with the the wasteland side of the mats and I've already put a video up of some jungle terrain that I've put on the uh, the sort of swamp mat and most of that was bought from the pet shop or it's the old Azerite ruins set so for me yeah I don't think I would go for the extremist starter set if you were getting the nice big glossy full rule book core rule book for Age of Sigmar yeah it might be worth doing that if you also want to get into Age of Sigmar but you don't you get this much scaled down core rule book which is not the same as the big separate rule book with all the background lore and all the rest of it in. The mats I've got are not exactly the same ones as you get in the Extremis set. They are slightly different. The ones I've got are from the Thondia Realmscape set and I don't have the Thondia Realmscape set myself. A friend of mine very kindly gave them to me because he had multiple versions of it. So that's why I've got a couple of nice boards for swamplands and for gurish wastelands. So yes, to sum up, if you want the models, get the Harbinger set, which is probably what I'm going to get at some point, because I do want the models. If you want the scenery, then fine, get the Extremis set. But for me, I don't think it's worth paying all that extra money just for those bits of scenery and those couple of mats. But make your own judgement that's just my thoughts let me know what you think in the comments below do you think this set is good value for money if you're only playing Warcry which of the three AOS starter sets would you get until next time thank you for watching please continue to like comment and subscribe and god bless